So starboard side is getting there. We're almost done sanding it. And uh, I'm focusing on yeah, attacking the stuff below the water line for now, including, check this out, giant, it's like a two inch bronze fitting here. That's the engine exhaust that was plugged up 10, 15, 20 years ago, who knows. It's been running an external car exhaust out the deck for the last uh, 10 years at least. So, cut all that out a long time ago, but I'm gonna cut this one out, patch it up. And if it's the same size as the rest of my plumbing, I might actually use that piece because it's a really nice big bronze fitting. So, if I can get it to play nice with the rest of my stuff, then I will. Just so you know, I'm not here by myself. Trevor's clocking some hours here. Uh, he's from the Vegan Vagrants. I'll link them in the description. You guys have seen them before, but their boat is actually just right over here on the dock, so. He's doing some sanding on mine, and I'm sure I'll be doing some sanding on his before long. <laughs> but uh, this yeah. week it's all about old dog, okay. so we're getting that done. I'm flying high, but I've got a feeling I'm falling, falling for nobody else. the ring and I'll jump right through I used to so yeah, day one of fully sanding and we've got the starboard hull like uh, all sanded below the waterline and I'm feeling really good about it. Having Trevor here to help has been amazing. If you guys, uh, you guys should really check out their channel, Vegan Vagrants and Sailing with a Care in the World. They've got two YouTube channels. One's all about sailing, one's about their vegan lifestyle and cooking and their a lot of fun. I'm so glad to have them here on the island and I'm so glad to have them here standing too. Um, it's uh, really good news about that rot down there because I was so worried the way it looked was just not good and I just tried not to think about it and as soon as I see Trevor going at it with a knife and just prying it out, I was like, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. And it turned out a lot better than I thought. So, thank you. Thank you. Oh, just bloody brilliant. Um, we're getting close to my shutdown time, but I got another couple hours of uh, sanding to clock in, so cure those montages. Okay, we're getting to the home stretch on the uh, on the on the sanding this morning. Um, I'm really tired, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So there's gonna be some like fine sanding here and there to take care of. There's uh, a little bit of air air pockets um, that have formed inside some of the epoxy layers. 
and of course uh, we'll be wanting to do some work on any rotten bits and underneath the hull on the keel itself but oh getting close to the the brunt of the work being done it's catching up with me now it's been um, yeah two days of sanding and my back and hands and everything I'm just tired just really tired <laughs> But uh, we still got another, what is it? Seven days of work here, or eight days of work here. And uh, yeah, just looking forward to putting stuff back on the boat, not just taking it off. All right, well, as you can see, Trevor's joining me again today. Guy just likes abuse and we're, uh, we're getting close to finishing off all the sanding here. We're just tipping off the last little bit at the end there. Hopefully we'll get it done before the tide rolls in on us. And then we're gonna start um, doing a little bit of epoxy work here in the front. So we're getting a lot of the uh, sanding done. Kind of went a little overkill on it, but Alicia's here now. And Alicia brought over, I don't know if you can hear it, but that giant heater in there. So we're baking the starboard keel first, because it was the one with the most amount of damage on it. And uh, we're letting it dry out, because we peeled back all the old epoxy that was there. Everything that was there is in the way, all the rot and everything. So now it's baking it, and then hopefully, if it dries out enough, we'll be able to get in there and do our first coats of epoxy, get it to seep in as deep as we can. All right, well, you see those tarps? You see the rain that's just about to come down right now? Um, that's preparedness, and that, as you might know, is not me. That's all Alicia, and she was here helping me today, and she'll be back later on in this project. She's been an absolute gem. She brought that heater, she brought those tarps, and uh, basically she's making this all possible and keeping me calm too, which is good because I'm losing my goddamn marbles. But what else is new? All right. I'm gonna make a little bit of food because I forgot to eat. I guess I keep forgetting to eat. And, uh, and then I think I'll like start unbolting things that need to be unbolted. Because <sighs> I can't sand anymore because I'm using all my tarps to keep my work dry and warm and I'm curing. So I'm gonna find something else to do. <laughs> 